I think the first time they did it was on the Chronic, and then the next time they did it was on uh, uh, another. It was one more they did it on. Still Re- DRE. Still DRE. Guess who's back? Still, still doing that shit, Andre. Show sure mm-hmm. was, bro. When when you know they when I first when Death Row first be, was being born, I owned it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. When you um when you basically um you see the you I see you. And you get in the car with them. They do these videos, two of them. <laughs> Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Lone Beach together. Now you know you in trouble. They always come get you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to do the video. You sitting in the car. He know what I'm talking about. <laughs> How did y'all even come up? Is this something y'all playing every time? Or is this y'all all together? You, Dre, and Just Snoop? Just having a good time. I think the first time they did it was on The Chronic. And then the next time they did it was on uh, uh, another. It was one more they did it on. Still D.I. Still D.I. Guess who's back? Still. Still doing that shit, Andre. Sure mm-hmm. was. Bro, when, when, you know, they, when I first, when Death Row first be, was being born, I owned it. Mm. Wow. How? Where Death Row used to be, Future Shock. Future Shock was a company, Dre and I and, and Suge and a guy named Dick Griffey started. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, over a period of time, uh, in that business space, sometimes things can get, you know, uh, mixed up. You mm-hmm. know? And I certainly was not in the space to be taking care of any of my business. Uh, professionally and things had just begun to get hazardous Mm -hmm. you know and so I had to make a business decision Decision. whether or not how I was going to and and I was just in a bad space then because I was getting high every day you know it it was just bad Mm -hmm. you know and uh I was really just kind of stuck in that hole because uh, the money was, <laughs> I mean, I had a shitload of money in my pocket and, you know, all the, the terrible things I needed was right there, but I couldn't find no peace because, you know, it was blood and guts everywhere. And um, so I made the business decision that I'm going to allow them to do what they need to do and try to figure it out later. Um, but it got to be too much and I just left. Did you feel any regret after you saw it build up to the way it did? Did I feel what? Any regret that you let it go? No. After? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me let me ask you. You have to, let me, back, let me, you have to give me the number of that scripture because every oh, yeah. nine times out of ten when you ask that. <laughs> You're going right <laughs> back to that. I got you. That's Judge chapter nine, man. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.